Hello guys, so in here in uh, this short video, I wanted to show you an example of a one page webinar that I have created for myself and I have used for myself. Uh, as you can see here in my uh, browser, if you have a look at the address, it's my own domain, okay, uh, here and I've created a special one page, uh, one page website like for, for this webinar. Okay, the interesting part about this is how I've created this page because I didn't use uh, Wix.com, which I've showed you how, how to use in a different video. But uh, as you can see, this looks very, very, very good. Here you can see that the Hangout, the Google Hangout logo is here. Okay, this was uh, practically live streamed from Google Hangout. Uh, the webinar was called the free ways of earning passive income from online courses. Uh, so this, how, this is how the page was structured. What is very nice is that I've included here a button for a promotion that I ran at the end of the webinar. Also, uh, I've just added uh, this Facebook comment uh, tab here so you guys can see uh, how it would look like on a one page webinar. And uh, here in the right part of the screen, if you have a closer look, you can see that I have uh, added also a different plugin to chat, okay, with to chat with the people from uh, uh, from from the webinar, okay, with my audience. So this was like a plugin that I have added directly in the, into the HTML source code of this page, okay, of webinar six dot html and this is a plugin that uh, you can find on the web it's for free it's very easy you just copy paste the code in your one page webinar page and it will appear like this to you in the right part of the page okay uh, the name of the plugin is chat we and it's actually very very nice now how how was i able to create this uh, this very simple pa page that has this chat box okay this uh, this button for my for my offer and everything else where well, actually i have used my get response account for those of you who don't know get response it's an email uh, it's an email marketing service okay it has prices you have a 40 day trial if you want to if you want to use it in my opinion, it's much better for, for marketers than maybe MailChimp or other type of services because uh, you have uh, landing page builders, you have very nice templates that you can use uh, in different purposes, uh, you have very nice registration forms and so on. So you have a lot of possibilities. Uh, also in the price, for example, mine right now, it's uh, $15 per month, okay, which actually, and uh, it let me, it uh, lets me have uh, up to 100, 1,000 subscribers and I have access to all the features that uh, it has to offer. Okay, what is nice is that in this price, uh, in this price you have included the autoresponder function, which uh, is necessary if you want to promote your webinar in a more professional manner. Okay, you need to create those reminders uh, in an autoresponder sequence so you don't have to send them each time, each day, to the same people again and again to create different newsletters. You create your email sequence once, your autoresponder, you put it in place and every time someone will subscribe on the list that they want to participate to the webinar, they will get automatically those emails that you have created, those reminders, okay? If you have seen in MailChimp in the free version, you don't have access at the autoresponder, you have to create every single day uh, a new email to send to people that have su subscribed or have registered for your webinar. So this is actually very nice that you have this possibility with get response. Now, what I have used to create that page that you have seen earlier, let me just log into my account and I'll show you. Okay, now we are into my, uh, into my get response dashboard. And if you will go here in the upper menu, you have a section with messages, okay, create newsletters, or you have land, a landing page builder. Practically, I've done something very, very simple. I went to the landing page builder, okay, you can go either to the messages section or to the landing page builder. Uh, if I will press this button restore, I think it will show exactly my, my builder, my page for the webinar. Let's have a look. Okay, no, this was my registration form for that webinar. Okay, I've created this with uh, with get response. You have different templates. It's actually very, very easy to use. Uh, let me go back. Okay, so 
if you want to build a page directly here how can you after that how can you practically export the page from here to your uh, to your own uh, to your own uh, domain it's very very simple okay uh, so for example you go to the to the create newsletter section you press the new email creator okay you just type in a name it doesn't matter a subject okay you press next step and here you will see that you have different templates okay from which you can choose let's take the first one okay this is just for the sake of the example. It's actually very, very simple. And as you can see here, all these blocks are editable, okay? All these blocks that, that you see here. So you can edit practically all these blocks here, okay? Put a name, make it look however you want, okay? Like the title of the webinar, Or something like that okay uh, after that maybe you want to delete this part or maybe you want to replace it it doesn't matter okay uh, you want to leave this button maybe you want to add for example a PayPal button right here to an offer okay you are selling something at the end of the webinar uh, you can type this off and for example in this part here you may want to enter your uh, you may want to enter your practically your frame for the webinar okay your google hangouts frame what you can do right now is let me just have a look at this okay you can bring this text here for example okay and here Instead of this text, you will have your frame for the webinar. So you will have your window with the with the live webinar. So what can you, what you can do here? First of all, you go to the HTML editor. You see here in this part of the screen, you have the HTML editor. You press yes, continue, and your your embedment code from Hangouts or from YouTube. you will go and copy paste it i think i went to the, the to the wrong block just a second guys okay title of the webinar okay download now so you will go and copy okay your practically your text your embedment code somewhere here okay uh, practically you will uh, you will use as a, let's say like a, like a checkpoint or so you can figure out where exactly to put the code you just look here after this text okay I don't know why why it's not showing to us here but in a, in a normal case, it should appear to you. And instead of that text, you copy here in the HTML version, your frame of the webinar. What you do after that, it's very, very simple. You just copy paste this. You go to your domain name, okay, where you have your hosting. You create a page on your domain, maybe webinar.html. You edit that HTML, you press edit on it. And you copy you paste this code that you have copied from here there and after that you will see exactly the page that you have created here with the webinar frame and everything on that page if you will enter on it for example as you have seen my domain it's the real deal slash webinar six dot html okay and that's how i've created i've created this page on my domain here okay I've pressed edit on this page. I've passed the code from get response on my page. I saved it. And after that, when I enter on the domain, the page appears. Okay. What I have integrated more on this page that is different from get response. I have uh, practically copy pasted also the code of chat. We this plugin for chatting. Okay. But you can find this plugin if you want to install it on Google. So it's actually very, very simple. Now, another way to do this is to use the the builder okay 
the landing page builder of get response so you go to get response you go to landing pages create create new and you will have different type of landing pages here okay guys different types different types so for example you select a sales page okay something that looks very very nice uh, let me choose one let me choose one just as an example for you guys I don't like this ones webinar pages okay for example we can use actually this template that you have seen me using as a registration form okay with slight uh, modifications but what you can do right now it's for example you have this template you delete this button here and what you can do is put this video here okay this is a practically a youtube video okay make it as big as you want to okay if you double click on it here you put your embedment code for youtube and that's it guys after that is the same thing but you don't have the menu here in the lower part you have here the menu in the upper part the html editor Obviously, you will edit edit everything on this page. You add whatever you want. Uh, as you can see, you already have a button. You can edit this one with your special offer. Give them details and so on. Then you press on the HTML editor. You press yes, continue. And you have your code. You just copy, copy the code, paste it on the page on your domain. And voila, you have your one page webinar. So that's how I've created this page guys as you can see it's very very simple so you if you have access to a to a email marketing service like GetResponse it will be much much easier what is very nice at GetResponse as I've told you before and I will show you this very very quickly is the fact that you can create uh, also and this will be useful for you when you are preparing your your webinar or a list or something like that it's the fact that you can create an autoresponder sequence okay so maybe uh, in GetResponse, your practically your email lists or your registration forms for different uh, campaigns are practically are named as campaigns. As you can see, I have different types of campaigns here. For example, for my webinar, I've used free webinar teaching. Okay, you, you will create a new campaign, for example. And after you have created the, the new campaign, that's where your new subscribers for the webinar, for example, they will be subscribed in that certain cap campaign here. Okay. What you can do is go and create an autoresponder that will be time-based. Time On the first day after somebody subscribes, gets a response. You choose the message, create a new email here. Okay. You give it an, a name, autoresponder name, my webinar, for example. Okay. Uh, you create a new email. You give it a message, my webinar one the subject webinar confirmation I'm just giving you example guys you obviously you will have your own uh, okay you'll have your own messages and stuff like that uh, maybe you want to start it from scratch okay I won't go into many into many details with these guys because I just want to show you the principle because this means that you have to to take on get response okay you just type in your email, whatever you want to, okay, to send to, to guys that have subscribed to your webinar. You have your first message, as you can see here, the create autoresponder on day one, okay. My webinar, save and publish. Don't send the message, okay. And as you can see, you have two different types of autoresponders because we have selected the, the, the same campaign, but in order to manage your autoresponders you click on this button here and you go for example show autoresponder for your campaign i want for this campaign okay and i deselect this one and as you can see i only have a confirmation email that it's sent out to everybody that subscribes to that list okay this is how it looks like okay so if anyone subscribes to my list that I have created as a registration form for my webinar, they will automatically get this email. 
from me okay i don't send it it's sent automatically to them that's the power of autoresponder then in the second day because this is day zero when they subscribe in the second day i can add a different uh, message then in the second day in the fourth and so on till the date of the webinar okay it, it depends on me how many i want to add i can add even 33 if i want okay automatic messages this can be very useful guys that's why i've also wanted to show you guys this okay now guys i hope this was helpful for you i hope that you had a better insight and overview of how to use this technique and all these builders okay drag and drop builders and email services to create your own one page uh, webinar and also to create uh, to create okay a proper uh, let's say a proper setup for your webinar how to create your reminders okay your autoresponders your email list and so on for your webinar now guys thank you very much for your attention and i look forward to see you in our next videos bye bye till then good luck sorry in here hello guys sorry in here welcome to our uh, first lecture from our course on how to create amazing webinars for free that means absolutely for free without paying for webinar platforms or other expensive stuff like that okay so this is recommended for people who are just starting out who who practically don't want to invest so much money in the beginning in paying for a webinar uh, platform because uh, the costs can be pretty pretty big but uh, they want to start out they want to test webinars they want to see how it works they want to hold webinars from time to time okay for their businesses for personal branding or other stuff like educational purposes sales speeches and other stuff like that okay so let's dive into the information first of all let's have a look at the price comparison for paid webinar platforms because this is why i've practically discovered this method or wanted to test this method to see if you can practically hold webinars for free uh, because the costs are can be pretty big if you add month after month after month and sometimes you don't even uh, have webinars okay or you don't even record webinars or you practically don't need that platform but you still have to pay for it every single month okay so here we have uh, three, three, uh, three of the biggest uh, webinar platforms that are out there that are paid webinar platforms. Obviously, they have very, very good, uh, they have very, very good features. I highly recommend them to you if you use webinars already at a professional stage. Okay, if you practically are already earning a lot of money out of this, so yeah in in that case you should probably use one of these platforms but if you are just starting out you probably want to save your money okay to bootstrap and you want to invest your money in the thing that brings the most value to your business so here is a price comparison with first of all we have any meeting which is a pretty huge uh, pretty huge webinar platform it's pretty good i actually used any meeting uh back uh, a couple of years ago two or three years ago when it was still forever free that's how they said back then that it was still forever free but in the meantime they they turned it to paid but no worries if uh, things work out for them that's okay so uh, the price for any meeting is 78 starts from 78 dollars per month for 208 and these you have registration forms obviously and you also have recording for your webinars then we have click webinar which uh, in my opinion has a better interface than any meeting okay the uh, it's more user friendly to say so the price starts at 79 dollars for 118 these which is actually a, a better price than for uh, a better price than than for most of the platforms but uh, it's like an average it's uh, it's worse than for any meeting as you can uh, figure out uh, it has registration forms and landing pages which is okay reminders which is okay and also it records your webinar which is okay because in the future you may want to use your replay of the webinar and then we have go to webinar which is probably the most popular out of all of them and it's one of the platforms that uh, top internet marketers in the world are using right now because it's the most efficient actually okay it has been uh, battle tested for for a lot of, for for a long time now and that is why probably most of the people are using it because it has uh, it has the fewest errors it works uh, the best most of the times it has the best uh, reminder system and a lot of other features uh, it's priced also at 79 dollars for 108 in these 
uh, you have registration forms, you have reminders, which is very, very important. So people that have uh, probably want to promote your webinar maybe one or two weeks ahead and people that sign up in the first few days, they even forget till the day the webinar is hold. So they need to get uh, email reminders from the platforms so they don't forget about the webinar they they are all they are uh, in constant contact with uh, with you all the time okay and they get reminded to to enter on the webinar uh, by the date uh, the webinar will actually start and will be hold okay so it has registration forms it has the reminders and it also has a recording of your webinar for more, more information about other platforms and uh, a more complex comparison of all these paid platforms, you can uh, you can enter on this website that uh, you have right here, okay? And you will see more platforms, you will see other details uh, related to them and a more complex comparison. Now, uh, I wanted to show you also that there are other possibilities too for paid platforms you have one time payment that means you only pay one once when you access the service and then you can use it forever and you have yearly options so uh, platforms when you pay an yearly fee and obviously from a financial standpoint if you take a whole year this uh, uh, these platforms are um, uh, are more advantages obviously okay and they have more benefits so first of all we have webinar jam which is actually developed by uh, by two very very big internet marketers very big names in the internet marketing industry okay uh, one of them is Andy Jenkins probably some of you guys heard about him the price for this platform is fourteen three hundred ninety seven dollars per year that means four hundred dollars per year it has a very cool registration forms and landing pages and other stuff like that reminders so it's it's much more uh, complicated and uh, oriented towards marketing than the other type of platforms that are out there okay like uh, go to webinar who is very very popular doesn't have the type of landing pages or registration forms that webinar jam has okay it has promotional apps integrated with it for example if you if you hold a, a sales pitch for a webinar you can have like uh, you can add scarcity at the end okay with a limited time offer and payment buttons and special offers and other stuff like that okay and it also has recording then you have webinar ignition on the other hand for which you pay $99 one time fee and you have like three or four different versions uh, it's based on uh, Google Hangouts and you will see that actually about Google Hangouts we will talk more uh, in this uh, in this course it has a registration it has recording too it has awesome landing pages too it also has some promotional uh, apps integrated because it's also uh, more oriented towards marketing purposes now we have the free alternative actually this is the thing that we will use to create our uh, practically our free webinar page okay or free webinar platform to say so okay we have Google Hangouts now what is Google Hangouts Google Hangouts is Google's platform for live video streaming meetings for example video calls or one to one meetings and web conferences maybe inside a company inside of a team okay uh, from people uh, between people from different countries okay it's actually a very very popular service of uh, Google but a lot of people don't utilize it or don't know about it or underutilize it okay but this is the thing that we will use for uh, for our own uh, webinar platform to say so okay and it's actually pretty pretty cool now obviously it has advantages and it has disadvantages the main advantages uh, the main advantage is that it's free for us okay uh, also it's uh, it's live streamed on YouTube which can which can be a huge advantage it's practically like having your own TV show so your webinar will will actually be also like a TV show it's recorded why because YouTube records automatically your live streaming okay and uh, it will practically uh, it will remain there on YouTube till you want to get it off okay so it will remain there forever if you want to okay and you can get like organic traffic from YouTube and Google and other things like that so it has some benefits and probably another very very big advantage is the fact that you can have unlimited attendees or viewers so you are not limited for example like to go to webinar to 1000 attendees okay 
you can have you can have 5000 if you want to you can have even 10000 viewers in the same time some of them actually watching your google hangout in the google hangouts app some of them watching you on youtube okay so it doesn't matter now obviously there are some disadvantages you have like no registration forms so you have to set up all the registration stuff uh, by your own okay you have to set up your emails you have to to send the reminders to people you have to send up you have to set up a landing page and other things like that you need a google account to participate in the actual hangout conference so obviously you as the creator of the webinar will have a google account you will create the google hangout okay using the the hangouts app but for other for other people in order to jump in on the app with you okay maybe like a co-presenter a co-host or other people that can enter uh, the live question and answer session in the actual hangout they need also to uh, to be inside their google account okay and to enter in the hangout which is uh, a little a little bit messy it gives you delays okay sometimes it has errors so that can be a disadvantage also another disadvantage is that it has some small delays a couple of seconds to up to 10 seconds so from the moment you speak to your audience okay or you are showing them a slide they will see it delayed with app with approximately 10 seconds okay so you have a small delay which also can be a small disadvantage let's say but on the other hand it's free you can have unlimited number of viewers so it has a lot of uh, big advantages and it's a very very good tool to start with now thank you guys very very much for your attention in our next uh, video we will dive into more uh, into more details about how uh, how to use this in our advantage and to create like our own webinar page or webinar small platform to say so okay obviously all for free thank you guys very much for your attention so in here i will see you in our next video Hello guys, Sorin here. Welcome to our uh, next video. In this video, I will show you exactly how you can set up a Google account. It's pretty, pretty simple. I don't know if I even should uh, show you this, but uh, maybe there are people out there that don't know already how to do it or don't have a Google account. Very, very simple. You just enter on Google in your country. For example, you can be, I'm in Romania, so I have Google.ro. Probably you will have the google.com or google.fr uh, if you are in France or google.spain.sp if you are in Spain or other extension like that. It actually doesn't matter. It's the same account. Okay. So I'm on the main page of Google right now. And you will see here a small button that will be in your language or in English. Uh, for me, it's in Romanian and it says connect. Okay. Connect to, to, the, to your account. Now, if I press this small button here, as you can see, I have a lot of accounts here. It doesn't matter that I will enter on my main account. Right now, you will don't have this. Uh, you will ha you won't have these options, okay, to select an account. But you will have this small option here. Obviously, again, for me, it's in Romanian. For you, it will be in uh, English or in your language, which says connect with another account. If you do not have an account, you will uh, it it will appear an option to you create an account. You will click on create an account, and after that, you will uh, you will have a Google account. It's that it's that simple. Okay, it's nothing complicated. To that for example, if I go back to the back page, if I go back to that page, I press this button here, add an account. Okay, I have here the option to create a new account. I press on the option create an account and this is how the form will look like as I've stated before and you can figure out on your own all the details for me are in Romanian because I live in Romania and Google has a tracking system behind okay and it practically sees all the time where you are okay so with other words practically they know at any time what we are doing and where are we in uh, in that particular moment but this is how the form looks like you have to fill in the form the name you have to add an uh, an username for yourself a password okay uh, date of birth a telephone number and you should have an okay telephone number because they will send you a confirmation message and your your email your actual email address if you have one then a captcha code so they see that you're human and that's about it you have created your account after that you co you connect in your account as you see me 
doing right now. And this is the main page of Google. And uh, as you can see, I'm connected in my account. You can see here is my picture, my profile picture for my account. I can go on Gmail if I want to. Okay, I use Gmail a lot, for example. I'm just showing you example, guys, so you can understand how this works. But now by being logged in already into my account, I have access to everything that Google has to offer to you as a user. Google Drive, YouTube account, uh, Google Hangouts, and everything else, absolutely everything that you can think about that is related to Google. So that's how simple it is, guys. Now I'm connected into my Google account. Thank you, guys. I will see you in our next video. Bye-bye till then. Sorry. Hello guys, Sorin here. Welcome to our next video from um, from this series. I will show you now how to create a free account on a, a free builder website platform like uh, Wix.com. Right now, as you can see here in my browser uh, bar, I'm on Wix.com. Okay, I'm already logged into my account. It's actually very, very easy to use. You don't have to, to overthink this. Okay, if I will log out of my account, uh, and I enter on Wix.com, I will have the option to either create an account or sign in. And if I press the button sign in, I will also have the, the option to sign in with my Facebook account. So it's not even that complicated. If you are already logged into Facebook, you enter on Wix.com, you practically press the button sign in, you will have the option sign in with Facebook, you sign in to Facebook, and this is the dashboard that you will see after signing in. As you have seen, I've already made some tests here, created some websites, but in this da dashboard, what you want to do for your webinar page or webinar platform, you press the button, I need a site for, the one that you see right here on the screen. You press the button, I need a site for, you can select the option blog, okay, events, music, whatever you want, but I will select the option blog. And I, I will have some templates right now, okay, that I can use. I will select one uh, particular template. It doesn't matter, okay, which one it is. For example, I can take this one, advertising. I will press the button edit. And now I wait for the editor to load. And you will see how actually easy it is to use this. Okay, okay. We are in the editor right now. Okay, we are on the main page. And let's see, we have all these things that you will probably don't need. Okay, for your, uh, for your, um, for your, uh, practically for your webinar page. Okay, so you don't need all this stuff right here. You have a text that you can edit, but you don't need it manage posts, you have posts here, so you don't need all this stuff, we should probably look for a different uh, a different template, this one is too complicated, I don't like it. Okay, background, page, site, tools. Okay, my dashboard, okay, so I will go and find a different template because I don't like this one. Okay, I need the site for, we need something much, much more simpler. Okay, because you only need one page, so no more than that. Okay, guys. And let's say, no, not this one, let me. Okay, let's say we take this one. Okay, ice cream. Okay, it doesn't matter, we wait for the editor to load. because I want to show you how simple it is, okay? You just need a very simple web page. You don't need, oh, this, this one is complicated too. God damn it. Okay. Doesn't matter. You can practically delete everything that is on your page and you don't like, even the menu, if you don't need it, but you won't need it actually. That's the, the thing. Okay. So you practically delete everything that's on your page. You will find a good template if you look to. Okay, now I have to delete this because I have selected this for you. Anyways, I won't stay to, okay, in this example to delete actually everything because it will take us like forever. Here you can have the title for your webinar if you want to. So I'm not saying you should delete this. Maybe you want to say like free webinar. Okay. 
maybe change the font a little I don't like this one okay it's not okay this one is much better size increase the size as you can see this is actually very very easy to use okay you have an address here you can delete this one too or maybe you want to have like a subtitle okay I will just leave it like that okay now you go to this option here to the button add okay and here you have different options okay shape video music social contact uh, menu list blog more okay you go to the video part and you select for example YouTube that is if you want to embed here on your page okay the link that your hangout or your webinar will have for YouTube so you just press the YouTube button you select the size that you want and here you will have this settings okay and in this section here you will copy the link that you will see me copy from the hangout okay the YouTube link where your webinar will be displayed you copy it from your hangout or from your YouTube channel and you co you copy and paste it right here you press then update and voila your webinar will be displayed here and that's how simple it is guys okay that's how simple it is if you will look in Wix here you have more options okay image gallery buttons you can add maybe if you want to to sell something at the end of your webinar you can add a button from here link it to your PayPal account okay so people can pay you you can add a box in which you can add maybe a, a chat box or something like that you can add a social account okay so people can uh, can share the webinar okay uh maybe like it or something like that a contact okay somewhere where people can practically leave their contact details and so on okay you can add different plugins you have a lot of plugins if you go here okay site login you have embed the site html code so you have a lot a lot of uh, a lot of different options here with uh, wix.com you just have to look for all of these plugins see what you want to use okay and use it but most of all you will only use probably this the social account the buttons and maybe something like a chat box so you can communicate with your audience directly here on your website okay but mainly this is how it will look like don't forget you select the video you go to the settings button and here you copy your YouTube link from your hangout okay if you want to copy directly the hangout okay embed the, uh, the, the code of the hangout you go to the add section you go to more and here you have HTML code you add the, the HTML code you enter the code here and here you paste the code of your Google Hangout the embedment code and you press update and that's it guys it's that simple okay now after you will have everything set up on this page you press the button publish you will have here the option free webinar okay you can obviously if you have a custom domain where you want to practically uh, you have a custom address where you want this, this page to appear you connect it to your customized domain okay free webinar save and continue and that's it guys you are done your site was saved if you go to this address right now you press the button publish now okay view site let's have a look at it voila very very nice right so this is actually very very nice this is how your page will look like it looks very clean very smooth very very professional thank you guys very much for your attention i hope that you have understand how to use a free website builder like, like wix i've showed you this one because in my opinion it's the easiest to use and the best for what you need in uh, in this case okay for uh, a small clean a simple clean uh, webinar page thank you guys i will see you in our next video bye bye for now hello guys sorin here welcome back to our next lecture from uh, from this course we have talked about before uh, using webinars for our businesses uh, we have talked about the fact that there are two types of, uh, of webinars that we can use there are webinars uh, that we can uh, we can use to educate our market our audience to send them informations to offer them value 
And also there are webinars that we can use to sell our product uh, business opportunity. For example, if it's a network marketing business opportunity or an MLM opportunity or a new service that we are offering as a company or a different program or a coaching program or training or anything like that. It doesn't matter whenever it's about selling something. Uh, there are a few steps and phases that a webinar should have. And that's what I want to talk to you about um, in this lecture, in this short video, how to use a webinar, how to structure a webinar in order to convert your audience, your viewers into actual buyers, because that's what we actually want at the end of the webinar, right? So there are a few phases and the first thing that uh, you should do into your webinar when you create, for example, your PowerPoint presentation that you will expose into your webinar. Uh, first of all, you will talk about the main idea of the webinar, maybe the first or two slides, okay, uh, main idea, the title and something like that. And then you should introduce yourself, okay, why, sh why should people know you? They need to relate to you better, right? So you should introduce yourself, okay, talk a little bit about yourself, about your achievements and your results and why should people listen to you? Be very careful at this, why should people listen to you? Uh, on the matter of this webinar, on the subject that you are discussing into your webinar. You need to show them results, you need to show them achievement so that uh, you can position yourself as an expert in front of them and uh, practically they will be able after that to trust you as an expert, as someone that knows what he's talking about into the matter and subject of the webinar or, or what you are selling. After that, maybe for a couple of, uh, a couple of slides, you should talk about you should talk about the 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 principal subject of the webinar okay why is this, why is this industry so good for example if you are talking about video marketing right which are the benefits of video marketing which are the advantages what is happening in the world with video marketing uh, right now what can you do with video marketing right now that means what can they do your audience with video marketing right now right and you should talk a little bit about that right a couple of slides uh, point out the benefits that uh, that they can get from from using video marketing. After that, you will get to to the point where you need to to, to talk about the problem, right? The problem of uh, uh, of something that you encountered in using, for example, video marketing in um, okay in your in your business. And you should talk about maybe two three problems, okay, or a main problem. And after that, you should talk about. Uh, maybe you should talk about that a couple for two or three slides and after that talk about the solution Which is the solution that you find what what are the things that you need to do? Okay, which are the tips that you are personally offering? To solve that problem they will appreciate that because you are offering value and you are teaching them how to properly use a tool maybe video marketing in this example that we, ju we just used okay how to use video marketing a couple of tips three tips five tips to how to use it better how to have max maximum efficiency from it right and people will appreciate that because you will practically educate them after that okay you will also uh, uh, you will also point out like a problem okay or a way that you have discovered to work even faster for the tips that you have offered. Okay, for example, uh, I've personally uh, held a webinar for a friend who was launching a video marketing software and the structure of the, that's why I gave you this example because it just came out of my, my head right now because I did it, right? So, uh, so after we have talked about the tips, we have pointed out a solution that we have, find, that we have found out to automate this whole process to save time and money, right? We have uh, we, we, we gave the audience the tips, what they can do to solve those problems, but we have found even a faster way that save us money and time to solve them, okay? The software that we were launching. So we have exposed them this solution that we have found, okay? And after that, uh, we have did this in a couple of slides. We have pointed out the benefits, okay? You are saving time, you are saving money, the software uh, does this, does that, okay, and it will solve you all these, uh, all these major problems of video marketing we have talked about. And uh, at the end of these slides, okay, after exposing them the benefits, we have made them an offer, 
a special offer okay this is a, a sales techniques technique that is very used okay you you need to offer something to people that they cannot refuse okay to make them an offer so we have made them an offer uh, it was uh, it was the launching of the software okay it was launch period and uh, and we have offered them a 50% discount okay if they bought uh, if they bought the software in the webinar okay directly from the webinar we have offered them a 50% discount right also we had uh, uh, we had a different promotion for every sale that was made okay the price was increasing with one dollar for every copy of the software that was made right so you can do you can use that into your business right you need to create uh, some scarcity at the end okay you were here you listened to me you paid attention okay uh, I will give you a bonus for for doing that okay you have a special offer from me because you are here and you took time from from your personal time okay to listen to me to see what what I have to say and for that uh, you, you you can have my special offer okay you deserve it you deserve it because you have invested time in this you have invested time and attention into this webinar so you deserve this offer after that obviously you need to close this the offer I've seen many people uh, many people not applying this right okay they are not closing their offers and people their audience might get angry with that uh, from from our experience with that webinar from 70 people that were on the webinar but be very careful because this were uh, the webinar was promoted to a buyers list okay people who already bought a product from this this friend of mine so from promoting uh, this webinar okay and holding this this webinar this way uh, we got like from 70 people that were on the webinar, 20 bought uh, the product, okay? Also, some of them bought some upsells, some downsells, okay, in the sales funnels of the product, but 20, that's more than 30% conversion rate, 20 of them bought the product, which is actually a very good conversion rate. There are people that are even going up to 50% conversion rates into webinars, so they can be very, very effective. Now, it depends on... Uh, on how uh, on to on on the audience that you have okay that you are promoting to your webinar and also the way structure another thing at the end of the webinar have 10 minutes okay not more maximum 10 minutes question and answer section for your audience so that they can answer so that they can uh, tell you the questions that they have related to what you are selling and you can answer to them they will see that, uh, that uh, you are very transparent with them, okay, that you are there to help them, okay, to offer them the answers and the solutions that they will need. This will help you very much, okay, and uh, for sure, a couple of the people that have questions and that will get answers from you will also become your buyers. So this is a way to go with your webinars, okay? Uh, maybe a little bit about your main, main idea in the beginning, then present yourself, then talk about the benefits of the industry, uh, about problems that uh, you have personally encountered, how you solve them, uh, which is the best solution that you that you found that can help them even more, okay, than the tips that you gave. Uh, present them the benefits of this solution, okay. Make them an offer that is very very good for them because they they have been attentive to you and they have followed your webinar, and then have a question and answer section. In which you in which you cl uh, clarify all the all the questions that they have and that's it that's how your webinar should uh, should end and that is how uh, you can sell uh, you can sell a product service business opportunity coaching program training or whatever through your webinar so guys I hope this was very helpful for you as I've told you before this worked for us very very well and I think it can work for you as well Thank you for your attention, Sorin here, and I will see you in our next lectures. Bye bye for now, Sorin here again. Hello guys, Sorin here. Welcome to our next video from our course on how to create webinars. Now, in this uh, short lecture, I want to talk to you about something that is very important in my opinion and that is why should you use webinars for your business first of all you need to have the why as you probably already know okay so let's dive into the actual information i will reveal to you in this lecture four main reasons these are four main reasons in my opinion of why you should use webinars into your business first of all webinars help you build a stronger and more natural relationship with your audience 
Now, why am I telling you this? Just think about it. We we already use different types of, uh, of online marketing channels, online marketing tools, okay? We send out emails, we create videos, uh, we record podcasts, okay? We, we share posts and uh, we post on Facebook and on different social media platforms. But very, very rarely, our audience actually has the occasion to interact in a live uh, in, in a live and real time with us, okay? Webinars give them the chance to, to get to know the real us, okay? And build a stronger relationship with us because they practically uh, give them the occasion, the rare opportunity to interact with us in a, uh, in a real time, okay? Now, the second reason would, would be that uh, webinars help you build credibility and authority. And why am I telling you this? Okay, there are a lot of people out there that are in your target audience that don't know who you are. Okay, they don't know uh, your expertise. They don't know your achievements in your field of expertise and so on. Okay, and practically into a live webinar, you can deliver value, uh, value to your target audience. Okay, you can deliver uh, important knowledge that would help them in the field or niche that uh, you activate in. And thus, it will build credibility and authority in front of them. They will get to know what are your achievements, okay? They will, they will see actually what value can you deliver to them. And that's how you build credibility on the, and authority, okay? And practically, this will translate future on into making more sales, okay? Having a higher conversion rate. Free, number three, reason number three is the fact that they are great for education and training, okay? There are a lot of companies uh, out there and there are a lot of marketers that are using webinars to just to offer value to their community and to educate and train their community in a certain direction. Uh, obviously, you probably already know that uh, this is one of the biggest trends, uh, not in the world, okay, or on the internet right now, but also in marketing and sales to educate and train your audience, okay? Uh, through education and training, ultimately, you will get more sales. So, webinars are great for doing this because they are like a live classroom, okay? People can, can practically... As, uh, get uh, get questions to you uh, in a, in a real time and they can get the answers back in real time as well so this will translate for them in a higher, higher qualitative learning experience now the fourth reason and probably the most important don't take it right now okay don't uh, so is the fact that you have a high conversion rate we are all here for business people okay and business translates in sales and profits the results in business are practically uh, more sales and more profits, okay? And webinars are proven to have high conversion rates. For example, what, which marketing tool you know right now that can bring you sales for high ticket offers or products that are priced at $2,000 or $5,000, uh, okay? There are very few marketing tools that can help you do that and webinars are one of these marketing tools. Now, let me give you an example. I have a friend that activates in the internet marketing industries and very recently he had a launch okay of a of a digital product and after this launch for for the buyers of 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 the product he created a special webinars uh, in which he promoted the coaching program for for her, some affiliate marketers and the coaching program was priced at $2000 there were around 80 people in that live webinar and guess what at the end of the webinar they made $20000 in sale okay so they sold somewhere at 5 uh, no, no, no five, somewhere at 10, uh, at 10 products, okay, because they made somewhere around 20,000 in sales. So they sold 20, uh, they, they sold practically uh, to 10 people, 10 coaching programs priced at $2,000, okay, that's a very, very high conversion rate if you think about it, it's more than um, 10%, okay, and for a very, very high, uh, high priced product. Practically, there aren't a lot of tools that, uh, that uh, give you the possibility to do that to sell this type of high ticket uh, high ticket products okay to an audience and people to actually buy from you this type of high ticket products so webinars are great at doing this now guys these are the four main reasons why i think webinars uh, are great for business okay F the the four main reasons why i think you should use webinars into your business of course there are many others but this one are the main four for me now, thank you very much, guys, for your attention, and I will see you in our next video. Hello, guys, Sorin here. Welcome uh, to uh, our next video from our course on how to create amazing uh, webinars. Okay, in this uh, edition.
short video, I want to give you guys uh, 7 tips for creating high quality webinars. These are things that you can apply in order to have a better quality with, for your webinar, okay, a better engagement. Uh, a better uh, a better engagement with your audience okay a higher impact for your message to your audience a better sales pitch if you are having a sales pitch for your webinar so these are things that are apply are applicable in general for your webinars in order for them to be uh, to have a bigger quality a higher quality okay so let's dive into these actual seven tips that I've uh, I've written here for you so you can apply them for your webinars. The first one would be to keep your audience interested in and interact uh, with your following before the webinar. What does that mean? Well, if you probably have an uh, if you are holding a webinar, obviously you, you already have an audience, okay, or a following or you are building one. So there are different uh, methods to do to do that. Okay, maybe you are having an email list, okay, of your customers, of your audience. Maybe you have a big social following on Facebook or YouTube, okay, or Instagram or uh, whatever other type of platform you are using. You want be exactly before the webinar, you want to interact with them, okay, to remember them things that they will learn in the webinar, to remember them about the webinar, okay. To, to practically throw them some golden nuggets out of your webinar, things that they will learn there. For example, if you have a big uh, social following on Facebook, you have a very popular Facebook page, it would be a good idea maybe to, to write them an article okay, or a post about something that is related to your webinar okay, and interact with them. And with uh, a couple of days before the webinar, start to... Uh, start to remind them that you will have a webinar okay so this is this is an example but uh, you, for example if you are on youtube and have a social following on youtube you can create videos about things that they will learn in the webinar okay some some very uh, even uh, more unspecific tips about what they will learn there than the things that they will learn in the webinar okay then the second tip would be to prepare an awesome presentation. You can use for that PowerPoint or you can use even uh, Prezi.com. If you probably uh, don't, if you probably uh, have used Prezi.com before, you saw that, that they have some amazing templates, okay, some very nice and cool stuff that you can do with Prezi, but you can also do them with PowerPoint. Whichever whichever uh, you choose, uh, they are, you, you can practically create an, an amazing job, an amazing presentation. The idea is to, to practically use the same colors in your presentation, okay, to make them interactive. Uh, obviously, uh, the reason for which you can uh, also cho you can choose between Prezi or PowerPoint is the fact that uh, you will do share screening, okay, uh, when you will have your webinar. So uh, either if you use PowerPoint or Prezi, you can use the, the share screen function so you can even... Uh, Tell them you can show them a presentation in PDF if you want to, but it's it's not the case, okay? So it's very important the, the presentation to to have different types of media, okay, uh, images, animations, okay, to have the same the same colors everywhere, okay, to 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 give them a sense of unity, okay, and to be like a, like an easy walkthrough, okay? So that that's a very that's a very good uh, good idea, okay, and make it interactive. Now, the third tip would be to have an awesome host or speaker on your webinar. So if you are not the host of the webinar or maybe you are just the host of the webinar or the speaker, you should you should uh, try to use for your webinar someone that it's interactive, okay, that engages with people, that it's likable because uh, otherwise people will uh, get off your webinar or will fall asleep and you don't want that to happen okay so you need to have an awesome host or speaker on board you can invite somebody that it's an expert in uh, in your field you can have somebody like a co-speaker or a co-host okay you can think about uh, about a couple of uh, of solutions like that okay the fourth the fourth tip would be to use different types of media so don't don't settle just for images, okay, or just for text. Use video, use slides, use screen sharing in the idea that you are practically showing some, some practical steps to your audience, okay? Maybe you want to show them how to create a Facebook ad campaign or something like that, okay? You practically do that live, okay? You enter on your Facebook page, you set up a Facebook campaign and things like that. You need to use different types of media to make it more interactive and engaging for people, okay? Now, the fifth tip would be to perform good sound and video checks before the webinar. So 
just before starting the webinar, uh, you need to be sure that the, the sound quality is very good. Okay, you don't have any interruptions and also that video is streamed well. Okay, so you won't have any problems because if you will have problems when you want to start the webinar, you will lose a lot of a lot of your audience that will get off the webinar. Okay, so you need to be prepared. Okay, good preparation uh, makes it even even a, a better webinar. Okay, the sixth tip would be to find a good quiet spot from which you have the webinar. For example, a very good room where you can talk to, where nobody will disturb you. Okay, that would be a very, very good idea. Somewhere where the sound it's very, uh, it doesn't have echo or things like that. Okay, but the most important thing is not for other people to interrupt you or to disturb you or someone to pass behind your back and he his phone uh, to start ringing. Okay, things like that. So you need to, to find a good quiet spot. Now the seven the seven tip that I would give you and this is not something that has necessarily anything to do with the quality of the webinar but more with what you can do with the webinar after you finish it is to record your webinar. Why? Because after you have maybe your first webinar, uh, either if it uh, if it will be very good or very bad, you can watch it again, analyze it, know where you can make improvements. And if it's a very good webinar, maybe it's a sales webinar and uh, it has a high conversion rate, if you have recorded it, you can reuse it, okay, the replay. You can practically have a webinar on, on autopilot, okay, on the replay. So it's very, very good to have a recorded webinar. Now, this would be all the tips that I would give to you today in this video. Guys, I thank you very much for your attention. I am sure that if you apply them, you will have a, a more qualitative webinar and a more high converting webinar. Thank you again for your attention. Sorry in here. Till next time. Bye bye and good luck. Hello guys, Sorin here. Welcome uh, to our next uh, video from this series. In this video, I will show you exactly how you can use MailChimp or other free email services if you want to. But in this particular video, I will show you specifically how to use MailChimp uh, to create a list for your webinar, okay, to create registration forms where people can, uh, can uh, register and subscribe for your webinar. And after that, how you can uh, send emails to them as uh, reminders so they don't forget and stay in a permanent connection with you. So, uh, so, they will be, so they will be practically on the webinar when it will be, uh, when it will be hold. Why is this part very, very important? The preparation of the webinar itself is very important because, for example, you can have people that see your ad okay, for the webinar today, but your webinar is in two weeks. And it's important for them to get notifications from time to time, especially in the last week, uh, to remind them that the webinar will be on a specific date at a specific hour so they don't forget, they stay connected. And you remind them that they need to be there at that specific date and at that specific hour. There are different techniques uh, that people use here. Some people, for example, even incentivize uh, incentivize their subscribers to their webinars to stay till the end of the webinar because they will have a bonus of subscribe free download for them or something like that so uh, in that way they are sure that people that uh, go on board on the webinar will stay till the end okay or people actually uh, show up at the webinar in the first place and other things like that okay there are people that are for example are sending in the day of the webinar free reminders okay one in the morning what one at noon uh, even four sometimes one with uh, one hour ahead of the webinar be, uh, before the webinar and one exactly when the webinar starts so there are actually three or four emails in the last day when the webinar uh, actually starts okay it's uh, it's hold now uh, it's up to you how much emails you want to send or reminders to to the list of people that want to join and attend to your webinar but it's important to remind them and that's uh, in my opinion uh, a successful series should be uh, should be compound from uh, one confirmation email okay about the registration uh, another email uh, with uh, three days before the webinar 
another email with two days before the webinar and uh, two emails or actually three emails okay in the day of the webinar maybe two or maybe three depends on you but uh, I would put one in the morning or at noon in the last day and one exactly when the webinar starts and you can add a third optional one with one hour before the webinar actually starts so you are sure that you have a, a high percentage of people that subscribe to the webinar that are actually showing up for the webinar because that's your main purpose right people showing up to your webinar now let's get back on on track with uh, with what we are talking about mailchimp here and we are now on the page of mailchimp as you can see here in my browser mailchimp.com you can sign up for free as you can see here uh, you will actually see directly into one of my accounts uh, that I've already created and have my credentials saved uh, in the browser. We we'll log into that so you can see we can move a little bit faster with this. But the idea is that it's very easy to sign up for free. You have different pricing methods. You have starting up and it's a free forever plan. You have actually up to 12 thousand emails per month which in the beginning it's more than enough and up to 2,000 subscribers God help you to have more than 2,000 subscribers for a single webinar and I know for sure that you will be successful okay now let's log into into my account so you can have a look as you can see I already have my credentials here I will just log into my account it's actually pretty simple to do this okay it's nothing complicated so what you want to do right now, this is how my dashboard looks like. This is my last campaign, okay, that I've sent. So you want to create a new list for your webinar, right? You go to create lists, okay, to the list section. As you can see, I have many lists here. Most of the time I use MailChimp to do testing, okay, not for mass email marketing or something like that. I do all type of tests, okay, smaller projects. You, As you can see, there are very few people in these lists here. There aren't like thousands and hundreds of thousands and stuff like that okay so you just press the button create a list you go here you continue you give your list a name webinar attendees okay default from so when people will when people that are subscribing this this list will get an email okay in their inbox from you your email address that will show up to them will be let's say mine is my classical one okay that i check all the time default from name sorry constantly okay now obviously for you this will be different you need to add them a reminder why they got the email you subscribe for the webinar okay uh, then you have some details company organization okay that you can add then you have the notifications part if you want to, to keep an eye on everything that happens in your merge account or with this list, you can uh, you can check these points here for notifications. I think a daily summary is more than enough. You can get even notifications for each subscriber that you get or unsubscribe or everything like that. But I think that that is just confusing and will blow up your uh, your uh, mail account if you have a lot of subscribers. Okay, so a daily summary is more than enough in my opinion. But it's up to you, of course. Now you have a list, okay? The list extent you have a brand new list. The list has been created. What you need to do right now is to create a sign up form, okay? So where people sign up for your webinar, you go to sign up forms. You have this section here. You click on it, and you have different types of forms, okay? You have pop ups, for example, if you want to use uh, use a pop up maybe on a on a blog or somewhere, okay? So people will register for the webinar, okay? Uh, different types of integrations, embedded form. Obviously, again, if you, you want to integrate your uh, your your uh, opt-in form into a web page or website, uh, maybe you have a WordPress website and you want to integrate it like in the sidebar, okay, in a small part, you can use the embedded forms, or you can have a general form. And this is actually pretty cool because if you have a general form it can be hosted by MailChimp itself so you don't even need a website okay the general form will be on a page that is hosted by MailChimp itself so I will select now the general form okay you have sign up forms uh, okay I won't check these points up because it just complicates it just complicates things okay you need to keep things simple so this will be your sign up form 
URL. Okay, webinar attendees. As you can see here, you have you can build here the form itself. So you can add different fields from the right menu here in the part text number. It's up to you what uh, what type of data you want to collect from from the webinar attendees. I think email address and first name it's more than enough. But there are people that are you know taking practically their birthdays, okay, or their addresses or their phone numbers or a lot of other stuff, okay. Uh, maybe if you are a company and uh, and you want to, to to create different special promotions, probably you have been you have gotten email into your your inboxes from different companies that are sending you different promotions on your birthday. So this is how they do it. Okay, when you sign up for a different uh, for a different thing on their website, they they ask for your birthday, and after that, when it's your birthday, they will send you an email with a promotion or something like that, which is not an, a bad marketing technique it's actually very very good because, good because it's personalized but in my opinion if you are doing if you are just starting out you are doing small marketing things okay uh, email address and first name it's more than enough to create a relationship with your attendees to say so okay so after you create your form obviously you can see your form here at this link let me show it to you okay this is how your form will look like you want to do it a little better okay to look a little better you, you have uh, you have a design option if you want to okay a header maybe you want to add a header okay font size things like that an outer wrapper okay background maybe uh, you can change the color of the background if you want to okay you can go to the body foreground change the background link style forms buttons you know fill table so you have a lot of things that you can edit here so you can make the design look better it's up to you, obviously. Uh, I think it looks okay right now, but it's not the greatest form in the world, right? <clears throat> so it's pretty simple, but it should do the trick if your webinar will be something of interest to the audience that you are uh, sending this, uh, this sign-up form. So this is how you create the sign-up form, guys. Actually, pretty, pretty simple stuff, okay? <clears throat> now, after you have seen the sign-up form, uh, what you need to know about MailChimp is that people will only be subscribed into your actual list uh, with a confirmation. Okay, so it's a double opt-in. So people don't just put in the sign-up form their details, push the button, subscribe to the list, and they will be subscribed. No, it works a little bit different. They will get a confirmation, <clears throat> a confirmation email from MailChimp where they need to confirm that they subscribe to your list. So it's a double opt-in, that's how this is called. But it's actually, this is not a very bad thing, but uh, it will lower your conversion rate overall, okay? Mm. On the other hand, you will have more quality leads, okay? More quality leads for the webinar. Now, uh, one thing that you can also use, so you won't stay every single time to create a newsletter and send to your lists, okay? You can do this, the, the next thing, sign up form, let us save this form, okay, this build, okay, add field, just a second guys, okay, so we have created the form, okay, you can, you can practically check now after you have checked the sign up form, opt in confirmation email or confirmation thank you page, okay, you can go to confirmation thank you page. Uh, and here you can practically, this will be the, the page that they will see after they press the button subscribe and you can give them some more details about the webinar, okay, or other things like that, continue to website, manage your preferences and things like that. You can also see that you have the opt-in confirmation email and here are the, this is the email that I've, I've told you that uh, a subscriber will get exactly after he subscribes to the list and in this, uh, practically in this email, he can press the button com he is subscribing to the list so he can be subscribed. Obviously here you can remind him again about the date of the webinar, what he will learn in the webinar and other stuff like that, okay? Now, another cool thing that you can do is you can go to automation, okay? Send automated emails, okay? But unfortunately with MailChimp, this is just a paid option. So if you want to do this more seriously, I am suggesting you to go for a paid account. 
either on MailChimp, there are other services like GetResponse with $15 per month or other services, okay? What this future will allow you, automation, you will see that for other email services it's called uh, autoresponders, okay? Uh, this will practically allow you to create automatic emails that are sent at a certain interval of time or at certain moments, at certain triggers, okay? For example, when you're building a webinar list, uh, you can set up emails that will be sent exactly after somebody subscribes to the list in the second day, one day before the webinar, in the day of the webinar and so on. So you won't have to send every newsletter manually every single time. They will be sent automatically. They are like templates and they are sent automatically. So you automatize your, um, your cycle okay, for the email series. If not, you just in MailChimp, for example, you just have to send the, the newsletters manually. You just go to campaigns. You push the button create campaign, regular campaign, okay. You select the list, webinar attendees, and after that you go further with the campaign, okay. And obviously in the newsletter you just remind them of the webinar. But you need to send them manually every single day till the webinar or of course it's up to you how you schedule your, uh, your times when you want to send the emails, how many you want to send and so on. But that's about it, okay. You'll have to, to, to send them manually. So that was everything, guys. I hope this was helpful for you. MailChimp, as you can see, has a lot of features. I think I went a little bit off the track, but I think that is good for you because you learn more about uh, how you can use this too because it's a very important part of, from preparing your webinar and practically having a larger audience that is present to the webinar itself, okay? So email marketing is very, very useful when preparing a webinar, okay? Thank you guys again very much for your attention. I will see you in our next videos. But then I wish you all the success and I am absolutely sure that you will have a blasting webinar. Bye bye till then. So in here, thank you again for your Hello guys and welcome back to our next lecture in our course on online personal branding. In this short lecture, I wanted to talk to you guys about something that I think it's not used at uh, the proper capacity for building a, a personal brand. Most of the people who have businesses online or want to build their, themselves as a personal brand online use this specific tool just for selling different uh, products or offer or for promoting different affiliate offers or other people's uh, offer products or services. Now, uh, I am talking about webinars, the, tools, uh, the tool that I think it's uh, misused or not used at a proper capacity. Webinars can be very powerful and uh, from different specialists uh, in internet marketing, you will find out that webinars uh, mainly have two purposes, right? The first purpose is to sell, promote uh, or, um, or maybe connect an audience with a different product, service or offer. Okay, maybe when you are launching a product, okay, in a specific niche, you are launching a webinar for, the, for presenting that product. Okay, when you want to promote an affiliate offer, you are creating a webinar for your audience, okay, where you are explaining exactly how that product works and the benefits of it and so on. Okay, but very few people are actually using webinars to educate their audience and to offer them a huge value. In that way, by offering a huge value for webinars, okay, to your audience on a specific topic, uh, you can, you can build yourself as an expert and as an authority in front of them. Now, let me give you an example. For example, right, you have an, uh, a blog, okay, and you are in the personal development niche. I think we have talked about this niche, uh, before, but it's very popular right now. Right, and you want to talk about the law of attraction, okay? You want uh, people to perceive you as an expert in the law of attraction, right? What you can do, for example, you have an email list, okay? Maybe you have 1,000 people, 2,000 people in your email list. You can set up a free webinar for all of them, maybe two weeks or three weeks from now, right? In which you can talk uh, uh, about some problems, okay, that people identify uh, with the law of attraction, okay, or about some specific things that, that they might not know and you know, okay, about the law of attraction. In that way, when you create the webinar, okay, when you will be in the webinar with them, my suggestion for you would be to start exactly like this. I will not sell you anything in this webinar, okay, because that's the actual truth, but I wanted to talk to you guys about a thing that I've seen in our industry that a lot of people get confused with. 
and you can and you can practically start to to talk to them about that specific topic okay that can be very effective why because people see you that see that you are generous okay that you are willingly that you are willingly give away uh free free value right and they will perceive you as as an authority why because you know things that other people do not talk about in your niche right and we'll think that uh, and we'll see that you care about them okay one thing maybe uh, maybe you do not know exactly what to talk about into a webinar okay you decide you want to do a webinar okay but you do not know exactly uh, what topic to approach okay what subject to approach what problem to approach what you can do before the webinar or in the registration form of the webinar okay you can ask people what you want to what they want you to talk about okay you just ask your audience which are the problems that they would like to hear about uh, a discussion into a webinar right and that's the and that's the thing that you will talk about you give them exactly what they want right in that way you practically uh, you build even a, a bigger rapport with them. Why? Because they will hear the solutions, okay, or the discussion for the problems that they have, okay, and they want to hear about them, right? So webinars are a very powerful tool if you will, uh, if you will uh, decide to use them. Now, there are a couple of programs that you can use or software that you can use to create webinars. It depends on the size of your audience, okay? Uh, a free tool that you can use it's Google Hangouts. It's very powerful and uh, the advantage of Google Hangouts is that uh, it will be automatically uh, linked to your YouTube account. And for example, if you have a, a YouTube account, people will be able to see the replay of your webinar onto your YouTube account. And this advantage is that uh, you don't have uh, uh, as many options as other platforms. Another disadvantage would be that many times uh, you will have like a small delay, okay, on Google Hangouts. People will see your webinar with uh, a free five-second delay, maybe even more sometimes, right? So when you have that uh, question and answer section at the end of your webinar, you may not be in a, in a real time with them, which can be actually a problem. Another disadvantage would be that uh, people, in order for people to be able to see that Google Hangouts live, on Google Hangouts they need to have a Google account. They can see it on YouTube, but they cannot comment, they cannot interact with you or whatsoever, right? So Google Hangouts is, a, is an option when you are starting out. If you do not have a big audience, if you do not want to invest money in a webinar platform, it can be a very good option. Another, uh, another option that uh, it's created around Google Hangouts, it's Webinar Jam, right? It's a very good software. We have more options for it, like a registration form and other stuff like that. You can check it out. Uh, we will have a resource uh, section at the end of this lecture where you can check out all these softwares, right? Uh, the best option right now, still in the marketplace, because maybe in the near future will appear other options too, I think it's GoToMeeting, right? It's pretty expensive. I mean, you can get like up to $500 per month if you, uh, if you are organizing very big webinars, but that's worth it only if you make like, if you have like a, a very, a very uh, big audience, okay, and you want to have like 1,000 attendees per webinar, okay, because you are limited to 1,000 per webinar. But it's definitely worth it if you have a big audience to do this for them, right? So go to go to meeting. It's still a very very good platform. Why? Because it works very fast. Uh, people can can follow you in a real time manner, right? But uh, also it has some disadvantages because people need to install like a plugin on on their computer to work and other stuff like that. But uh, as a technical as technical uh, as a technical part, okay, probably is the best right now because people won't have many errors and other problems like that so these are just three examples obviously there are even more examples that you can use for example uh, now in the past six months there are other platforms that appeared that are linked to twitter for example there is periscope where you can uh, organize like uh, live streaming it's more like a tv show that you create okay from your mobile phone then there is uh, meerkat okay also for mobile phones then there is blab that's it's, that it's also connected to twitter uh, which is kind of like a discussion and webinar in the same in the same spot right so you have many tools that you can use but the main idea is to use this uh, as an in an educational purpose right okay to create these live events for people to to be able to know you better 
to relate to you as a human being better and to position yourself as an expert and as an authority for the value that you provide to them in a, in a huge way, okay, in a bigger manner, let's say so. So I hope this lecture was very helpful for you guys. I thank you very much for your attention. Check out the resource page at the end of this lecture and I will see you in our next lecture. Bye bye for now, Sorin here. Hello guys, Sorin here. Welcome back to our uh, next uh, video from our course on how to create amazing webinars for free. Uh, I've told you in the past video that we will uh, talk more about uh, about the, this technique for, of creating your own free webinar page okay using everything for free obviously because as we have talked already in the beginning when you are starting something you need to invest your money uh, in the things that bring the most value to your business okay now i call this the eight steps technique okay for creating uh, free amazing webinars and let's start with the first step the first step is to create a google account as you have seen we are uh, we are using the Google Hangouts tool, okay, to to practically create this uh, this free webinar page. So uh, first of all, you need to create a Google account or log into your actual account if you have one. If you already have a Google account, you probably know already that you also have a YouTube account. You also have access to Google Drive and everything that Google actually has, all the apps that uh, that Google uh, has at our disposal for using, okay then you need to create an account on a free website builder and an example for that it's uh, wix.com and i will show you exactly in a future video how to use that uh, then you need to enter into your google hangouts account okay you just type in google hangouts on google while already being logged into your account uh, the Google Hangouts will appear, you enter Google Hangouts and this, you schedule a Google Live Hangout. So not a normal Google Hangout, you need to schedule a Google Live Hangout, okay? Uh, then you copy, you will see that you have some distribution links there, okay? Or share the, uh, share the Google Hangout and you will have more options. Uh, throughout these options you will also have a YouTube link or an embedment code for your Hangout. Uh, enter after that the the step number five is to enter on your Wix website okay page that you have created you insert the YouTube code video or an embedment code for your Google Live Hangout there on your page wherever you want the the video to appear okay the actual webinar to appear on the page you can add different plugins there like a chat box or like Facebook comments to that page if you want to and I will show you an example for that uh, then you can create a free email marketing service account. Actually, if you want to have the whole package with registration forms, landing page, reminders for your webinar, you need to create a free email marketing service. You can use MailChimp, okay, in that purpose. And after you create this email marketing account at MailChimp, for example, you can create a registration form for your webinar and you can set up an autoresponder sequence or emails to send to the people that register to participate at your webinar. Okay, and that's about it. This is the eight steps technique. So I think it's pretty simple till now. I think you understand the concept, but you actually need to see it in practice. And that's what we will do in, uh, in uh, our next video, guys. Now, some recommendations before going on with the examples and uh, before showing you exactly how to use this technique. Uh, some recommendation use this technique when you are just starting out to save money and bootstrap so if you are already at a level where you can afford to spend like $80 per month okay to use uh, go to meeting or uh, click webinar or anything like that any service like that uh, spend the money on that okay because it's more professional you can make it look very professional okay you can use this method also to have a very professional presence but uh, Probably in order to do that, you will uh, need some, uh, okay, some freelancers, some designers, okay, to create special pages for you to integrate Google Hangouts with different apps and other things like that, that, uh, that you don't know, okay, uh, but a professional developer knows or a designer knows and you will still need to spend money on that. So it's much easier for you to, uh, to go to click to webinar or to go to go to webinar or webinar jam or other platforms if you have the money for that okay uh, so obviously 
even if you do it okay to, even if you make it look professional you won't still have some of all the features that paid platform has okay now uh, you can save up with this method you can save up to over one thousand dollar per year if you make the the calculations okay as you have seen from the prices comparison you I've, I've shown you a comparison based on 108 ds probably if you go from over 200 or 500 the prices will go up much much more and you will end up maybe paying even two three or even four thousand dollars per year with this method you actually end up paying nothing okay you just take some of your time in the beginning to design everything and then it works for for itself okay so these are my recommendations now guys thank you very 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 much for your attention and in the next videos i will show you exactly how to set up this technique from the beginning to the end okay thank you very much for your attention again bye bye for now sorry in here hello guys sorry in here welcome back to our uh, next video and next lecture from uh, this series regarding on how to create uh, webinars and how to use them in your business now i want to talk to you about how to prepare your audience for a webinar this is a very very important part in uh, having a successful and running a successful webinar the part of preparation okay now let's dive into the actual principles that you need to follow in order to uh, to conduct a very very good preparation for your webinar and uh, in order for you to be sure that you have a, a high appearance of the registrants in the actual webinar okay now first of all if you use a paid platform like go to webinar or webinar jam you already have things set up so uh, so that uh, you are sure that a lot of the number that will register for the webinar will, will actually show up at the webinar okay a lot of the people that are actually registering for example you have a webinar next week and people register today they do you will have things set up okay so they will get reminders and everything and you will have a, a high percentage of the people that were registered actually appearing in the webinar now the second thing is that if you do not have a, a paid platform and we will practically talk in this uh, in this course and in this series about how to create your own free webinar page uh, so you want to use a paid platform like go to webinar or webinar jam uh, if this happens okay you need to have a landing page or a registration form uh, you need to have this thing set up where people can register for the webinar after that you need to have uh, to to have built an email sequence that is sent to people who registered so they are all the time reminded of your webinar because if you are promoting a, a webinar okay maybe you promote it like five days ahead and you need to remind people that registered in the first day in the second day in the third day okay that they will participate at a webinar on a certain date okay they need to be remembered because people uh, are all the time busy and they will forget i can assure you of that okay now in your email reminders so you need to set up a sequence of emails that you will send to these people that registered for your webinar in this email reminders in this sequence you need to include different benefits of the webinar so you need to build anticipation for the webinar you can give out some tips if you can regarding the subject that you will approach in the webinar this will not just practically remind them of the webinar and why they should participate to the webinar so they will practically build anticipation but they will also help you build credibility and authority just actually before starting the webinar okay which is actually pretty pretty cool okay then the next thing that you should do is uh, it would be recommended not to promote your webinar with more than seven to ten days ahead as you will lose a large part of the early registrants uh, just think about it you being in the shoes okay of someone that registered for a webinar that will be after two weeks you will probably forget uh, two weeks from now that you, you registered for a webinar or other things appear okay in your life and you will not be able to participate and that happens for most of the people so uh, if you have a, a large time for uh, a large time time frame okay in which you promote the webinar you lose a large part of your audience because that's how life is okay things get busy in the day of the webinar you should have at least two or three email reminders sent to the registrants for the webinar and the last one should be when the webinar actually starts okay that way 
uh, practically it's like a last call okay a last, a last attempt from you to remind everybody that the webinar will start that day okay that they should not make any program and that they should be on that call and for example a very nice technique that a lot of marketers are using is to offer to people that are staying from the beginning till the end of the webinar a big bonus at, at the end maybe something that they can download okay a mind map or something like that you can think about something like that to create for your audience now if you have a big social following be sure to post on your pages and profiles reminders for people to participate to the webinar uh, again tips that are regard uh, that uh, that uh, practically are somehow um regarding the subject that you will approach in the webinar okay why they should uh, participate to the webinars and other things like that so you can increase your attendees rate now an optional thing that you can do and some of the people that are conducting webinars on the web right now are doing and practically a lot of them are doing this successfully is that they use retargeting for example on facebook but you can use retargeting also on google and other ad platforms but they are using retargeting on Facebook to remind their registrants to participate to the webinar. And this is something that you can do optional because you already remind them through uh, the email sequence that you have created. But an example of how you can do that is that, for example, with two days before the actual webinar, you can start promoting uh, an ad to the people that registered for the webinar. Uh, in which you remind them to participate at the webinar. Hey, tomorrow we have the webinar. Don't forget to, to be there on time. I have a big surprise for you or something like that. Okay, so these are things that you need to do in order for your webinar to, to have a high attendee rate because this is uh, this this part of preparation is very, very important. I didn't told you before, but the average rate uh, that, for example, the click meeting platform has seen for for people that are are using their platform to create webinars is uh, about 27 28 people per webinar uh, most successful webinars have somewhere at 300 400 500 people on in the same time and some of the best in the world go up to 1000 people in the same time okay uh, if you go up up from there from 1000 you are actually a very very good uh, marketer okay and someone who's probably very very famous and conducting a, a webinar and you are actually doing like more like a tv show or live streaming than a webinar if you go past this number okay more than 1000 people but the average rate is somewhere at 27 28 people uh, obviously ideal for you is to have probably somewhere between uh, 80 and 100 people because you can interact more with them okay you can talk more with them if you have more than that very likely you won't be able to to interact as you would like with them so these were all my recommendations of how to prepare for a webinar i think these things will help you to have a high attendance rate to your webinar and to to practically build uh, just before starting the webinar your credibility and authority in front of your audience now guys thank you very much for your attention i hope this was helpful for you and i will see you in our next videos bye bye for now good luck to you sorry hello guys and congratulations for joining this course first of all i want to thank you that you are here with me and i know that you will learn amazing things about how you can use webinars into your business and this will help you maximize your profits into your business now before just diving into the actual information in your course i wanted to give you like a short briefing about how the course is structured and how you should go through the whole course First of all, please introduce yourself in the discussion board of the course. One of the biggest component of uh, Udemy and of, uh, of our course is to create a, net a networking community so you can practically share ideas with the other people, uh, ask your questions if you have any questions so you can get answers to them and practically uh, improve our, our learning efforts here together, okay? This is very, very important, so please, I ask you again, do this if you have one or two uh, minutes spare from your time. Now, how is the course actually structured and how you should go through the course? It's actually very simple. In the first section, we will talk about why it's very important to use webinars into your business. Okay, and you will get some tips from me about how to create high quality webinars for your business. 
then we will go through how you should uh, prepare your webinar okay how you should get people to register to your webinar how uh, how to make them to attend to your webinar and uh, and all the things that are related to this part of preparing a webinar then in the fourth section we will talk about how to create a one page webinar for free this is a technique that i've personally used and i recommend it to you if you have a business that it's in the beginning and is just starting out because you want to focus your investment and your spending in uh, in something else into your business maybe creating a more valuable product or key or marketing or something like that okay so you can create amazing webinars for free and this is what we will talk about in the fourth section then in the fourth section of the course we will talk about uh, how to sell with webinars because this is a very important it's a method that if you follow uh, will work again and again and again into your business and this is what we will talk about in the fourth section in the fifth section of the course we'll have conclusions and obviously future updates for the course and bonuses special bonuses that i will have for you because you are a student in this course and because you will get till the end of the course that means that you have invested your time and you are willingly to seriously invest into creating webinars for your business which will translate in uh, in maximizing your profits into your business now that was all that i wanted to to tell to you before diving into the actual information in the course a final request would be that after we go through the course if you if you enjoyed the course if you liked it please leave a rating and a review for the course i would very much appreciate your feedback and future students can know what they will actually learn in this course and what you enjoyed the most thank you again very much guys and i will see you in our next video till then bye bye good luck sorry in here